Hello. It could change everything. Dr. Ning Li said this in response to the Discover Magazine interviewer about her prototype AC gravity machine back in May 1999, 20 years ago. So what has happened to Dr. Ning Li and her research on artificially making gravity since then? This is the Taming Gravity follow-up to my Taming Gravity review post and the original Discover Magazine article, Zero Gravity, Anti-Gravity Devices, and the Popular Mechanics article, Taming Gravity, regarding the work of Dr. Ning Li. As a well-established and highly respected physicist leading the way towards gravity manipulation, Dr. Ning Li has consisting indulged seemingly unscientific ideas about gravity. However, her work and her place amongst her peers is well-founded. In an article published by Discover Magazine, Dr. Ning Li discussed her work as well as added personal commentary about what she hopes her research could bring forth. The Popular Mechanics article on Taming Gravity provides a basic description of what and how Dr. Li is hoping to utilize the wonders of the Bose-Einstein condensate to create what she is referring to as AC gravity. Dr. Ning Li is extremely passionate about her work. She is also equally aware of the consequences her work could have on modern science and technology. After all, she is trying to figure how to manipulate gravity. While discussing her research with Discover Magazine, she made note of the repercussions of such a discovery by saying. It could change everything. Current industry will vanish from the face of the Earth. The far-reaching effects of an anti-gravity device would forever change the course of human history. From travel to modern man's oil-based energy supply, everything we know would be completely upended. The power of anti-gravity far exceeds that of any other energy currently known to man. Using it in a practical setting would obviously transform the way humanity lives. Although the Discover Magazine article was published in May 1999, Dr. Lee had stated she believed she could create an anti-gravity device within just 10 years. More than 19 years have passed since then, and we have yet to see any anti-gravity technology in the mainstream. Even so, the prospect of her work coming to fruition is enough to keep science and tech geeks up at night. Interestingly, Dr. Ning Li isn't the only scientist pursuing anti-gravity technology. Researchers such as the late Hideo Hayasaka and Saki Takeuchi of Tohoku University have also studied gravity modulation. In fact, it was this duo who first witnessed anti-gravity propulsion while studying high-speed gyroscopes with metal flywheels. During takeoff, the gyroscopes would seemingly hover in place for a split second which had the researchers questioning why it was happening. This ultimately caused the scientists to change their field of research to anti-gravity manipulation. Another prominent scientist working in the field of gravity modulation is Eugene Podkletnov. As a grad student at Tampere University in Finland, Podkletnov discovered that objects placed above spinning ceramic disks lost nearly 2% of their weight. This discovery has a direct relationship to gravity modulation research and lent credence to similar exploration being conducted in the same field. James Woodward of California State University is yet another researcher working on gravity modulation. His work primarily consists of the effect of inertia on gravity and how the cosmological constant can in effect push objects in a certain direction. Nieto with Athena was also studying how antimatter relates to gravity and whether or not it can float instead of sinking into gravity. Despite countless man-hours in the laboratory, the best evidence of anti-gravity and its effects have been discovered through the telescope. Astronomers and scientists studying supernovas have revealed that the universe's expansion is in fact speeding up, instead of slowing down as once previously believed. The effect of inertia, it would seem, is powering the universe's expansion. Since the universe's expansion is speeding up researchers believe that this signifies a cosmological constant or a hidden energy behind the scenes propelling the universe and everything in it forward. This powerful energy called dark energy is hypothesized to counteract the effect of gravity, and if mastered it could create serious technological advancements. Stranger still, according to the Discover article, are the speculations of Hal Putthoff of the Institute for Advanced Studies in Austin, Texas. He believes that the energy that powers the cosmological constant is also powering inertia. In other words, anti-gravity research done on Earth is linked back to this strange phenomena of dark energy and is the reason why anti-gravity can be achieved no matter where you are in the universe. Since her experiments and subsequent results attracted the attention of the DoD, Dr. Ning Li hasn't made any public statements about her work or her disc-shaped artificial gravity manipulation machine. 
In fact since receiving the $500,000 grant money from the DoD back in 2001 Dr. Ning Li hasn't been seen or heard from since 2003, she basically has disappeared. It is rumored by Dr. Sarfati's contact in Washington DC that Dr. Ning Li went back to China? However, in the Discover article she did make one very prominent statement regarding her research, current industry will vanish from the face of the earth, she said. Obviously, this ex-NASA-funded researcher had reason enough to believe her work could lead to an all-out industrial revolution. Dr. Ning Li has obviously made significant strides in taming gravity. Otherwise why would she have gotten the attention of the DoD Department of Defense even to the point of receiving a $500,000 grant from them? It would be inspiring to hear from her again about her research. However, it seems that she has disappeared into the black budget projects of either the US and or China. Of course this also means that the possibility for her and her research being our world's first official breakthrough in the possibility of taming gravity have disappeared with her. Regardless, and until the US government feels black budget projects are not needed anymore, we still have Dr. Lee's original research to inspire us and speculate on, if not pave the way towards our officially understanding gravity and how we can manipulate it to our advantage, anyhow. This may mean that we as the rest of the non-black budget world have the challenge to transform ourselves into a society where the military-industrial complex emphasizing industrial control over the economy and therefore the military feel they are not only ready economically to reveal such technologies but also they accept us as evolved enough not to turn such technologies into Armageddon. Basically we need to evolve enough not to need the military-industrial complex, as unimaginable as that may be. Then these technologies such as is in the promise of Dr. Ning Li's research should be commonplace with all of its far-reaching and far-out implications. Taming gravity, here we come. Did you read the original Discover and or Popular Mechanics articles on Dr. Ning Li and her AC gravity? What do you think may have happened to Dr. Ning Li since receiving the $500,000 grant from the US DoD? Please let me know what you think in the comment area below. I am really interested to hear what you have to say. So, please leave your comments below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And please make sure to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.